monday.com versus asana free plans hey guys today i am going to be comparing the free plans on monday.com and asana and which one is the better project management software if you are planning to use them for free so let's get into it first off we are going to start with their pricing and we're going to look at the features and compare them point by point after that we will move on to their platforms and see how they work so the individual plan on monday.com which is free it includes unlimited documents and over 200 templates so that is pretty impressive you can also have 20 column types but here comes the catch which is you can only have two members now Having two members is a very, very big limitation. You won't be able to create your team account or your team workspace using only the free version of monday.com. So starting off, let's lay down the ground rules. You can only use monday.com as your project management software if you are working alone or if you have one friend working with you. In any other situation, you cannot use monday.com as your project management software. Now, moving on to Asana, Asana allows you all the unlimited basic essentials, so projects, tasks, activity logs, storage, and comments, you can add unlimited number of those. A limitation on Asana, which I find very, very irritating, is the three project view, so I can only view my boards in list, board, or calendar views, so I cannot view them in any other form. But Asana does provide you with over a hundred integrations and monday.com also provides you with integrations so that's nothing to worry about and asana also has some very nice time tracking applications you also get basic reporting on asana which you do not get on monday.com there is no reporting or analytics feature in the free version of monday.com but after that asana limits you to a 15 user limit so it's more than monday but it's still pretty low so if you're working in a team of more than 15 you cannot use either of these project management softwares you're going to have to opt for something else entirely now you also get community support on both of these now moving on to their platforms now this is monday.com and this is your profile on monday.com if you were to move on to your workspace on the left over here you can view all of your different workspaces now you can see you can create many different workspaces and you can favorite a workspace like so and you can find it in your favorites then so it's easier to find uh, some of your top workspaces if you're working in a lot of different fields now monday.com is a bit more difficult to use in asana in my personal experience the learning curve of monday can be a bit higher as compared to asana but uh, i think it's still worth it to learn all of the features on monday because there are a lot of things you can do on monday that you probably can't do on asana now you can see I have created this weekly planner using a template and you can see I have a main table and I cannot view the chart version because I do not have the premium version of Monday. Below that you have a section and within a section you have different tasks. Now the good thing about Monday is that it provides great detail of the tasks. So if I move my toolbar over here i can see so much detail about the individual tasks so after the basic comments i have the assignee the priority of the task i can set the status of the task then i have the due date i have the estimated time i have the actual time it took to complete the task then i can add some files in my attachments over in this column and then I can add another column for text or formula, dependency, time tracking, anything I want, I can add another column for. So that is something that is very lacking in Asana. Asana doesn't have this kind of feature in which you can provide so much detail from a bird's eye view. If we take a look at the homepage on Asana, this is what it looks like. And if we look, open up one of these workspaces, this is what your workspace on Asana is going to look like. So you can have a list view, a a board view or a calendar view the rest you're going to have to pay for if you want to try them out now a list view is pretty decent a board view is very 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 easy to navigate on so a list view however does not provide you with the same level of detail like you can add more columns on asana and you can choose them from your library or you can add a custom column for example let's just add status and you can make it pink 
can create this field now it does work it's it's very functional but i think monday does it far better than asana now you can see you have a section and within a section you have tasks within your tasks you can create subtasks like so and you can write them off as you complete them you can see over here so if you complete something you can just mark it as complete and you don't have to mark your entire task as completed if it has not been completed now if you go into your home page on asana it's pretty nice to rest your eyes on and that is something that monday does not have the home page on monday is just your workspace so it's a bit irritating to work on monday because i want to rest my eyes sometimes i want to get a nice clean little home page and for that I, I usually just go to my profile and it serves me the same function but it it's a bit annoying to have to open up this and then go into my profile, so on and so forth. Now for your profile on both of these, you have this like so. You can access your settings with a drop box or a pop-up box over here on Asana. But on monday.com, you have a separate web page for your settings, your working status, all of your different details. But Asana does all of that in a pop-up box and I find this pop-up box to be far more efficient. There are also notification customization on Asana while on monday.com you can only do like basic notifications. There aren't many customizations that are available on uh, available on Monday as compared to Asana. So you can get email notifications, you can get a uh, web notification if you enable web notifications and you can add your days off so you won't be notified about anything on your days off you can also add a timing of when to be notified you can also add email forwarding you have account settings you have your general display settings you also have your application integration so different applications that you have already integrated and that are currently working within your workspaces and then you have general hacks so which is going to add additional celebrations and surprises to your experience it's a generally good cute little tool to use for a general uplift of morale of your team that's going to be a part of that and then you have recurring tasks in your last section of my task and this is a very good feature that is lacking on monday so in monday you really can't create a recurring task i've tried so hard and it makes it so difficult to create a recurring task like if i was to open this task you can see i have this date on it so you can see it's 30th March. I can add the time, but I cannot make it a recurring task. And when you, when I'm making maybe a daily schedule for a student or a daily schedule for myself even, I want to add recurring tasks and they're not present in monday.com. So if that is a key essential point that you need to use, then you most definitely should um, opt for Asana. So that was just a general overview of both the platforms. Now, I, I suppose you guys have a good idea of how both of these works and the different features that they provide now in my closing statement i must add uh, if you're using monday.com and if you want to micromanage each little thing for your own daily schedule so if you want to micromanage your daily activity you can use monday.com but in all other situations i would definitely recommend asana it allows you more user limits so you can work with your team on asana and you can create recurring tasks you have general analytics you have basic workflows and do limited amount of automations with integrations and that is not present on monday.com so i would definitely suggest that you should opt for asana as your project management software i hope you guys found this video helpful and i will catch you guys in the next video